Hello and welcome to Tid Wag the Niemand or Time Waits for No One. Um, I really should have my control on for this section, so, and see if we can. Well, I mean, yeah. Sorry for all of that noisy noise. Um, there we go. Now we can get in. We'll play it with keyboard and mouse. It is a first person expression, but I do like to play with my controller, even on these sorts of games. Um, it's not an expiration, it's a the right world, just chip or clap. But we got that, um, Unity. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is an invisible wall there. You're giving me areas that I can climb up. I have to go, um, yeah, we... Oh, great. Um, have I got myself stuck? We are getting saturated with these in my gameplays, I know, so, you know, you'll have to bear in mind. <laughs> Don't break the game, Jason. Do not break the game. Um, yeah, this might be on a slow rotation, but, um, Aporia seems to have broken itself after one 15-minute session, and, um, it's constantly trying to update, and it's let this update locked, um, so, yeah. Floating rocks. Time waits for them. That first mission screen was like, you know, um, don't go activate the machine in this pyramid. But it looked cool and, you know, I'm a fan of these sorts of games and... I thought I'd check it out and play, you know, we have to play these sorts of games on the channel. I do like my puzzles. Um, should I activate and deactivate the menu? Also, it looked like the sun was setting on us. <laughs> Just to get rid of that text at the bottom, I think. Well, well, speak of the devil. Come in, HQ. Oh, I've infiltrated the pyramids. Over. Hello? Right, I have to press space. Roger. Proceed to the machine room. Copy that. Oh god, it's dark. And I don't have a flashlight, or at least F doesn't activate a flashlight. There is a wall behind us. I had to do the anti-chamber thing where we walk backwards. Also, um, if OBS isn't capturing this well, I apologise. Come in, HQ. I've infiltrated the machine room. Come in, HQ. We're inside a big pyramid and you expect to get a signal on your phone. I mean, you know. Or, you know, your walkie-talkie at the very least, but... You're deep inside a pyramid, don't the stargaze. Um, <laughs> do not activate the stargate. Oh, also, what is that texture? I mean, the, the, the things that I see recording are very different. What the hell? Is there something in there? It's very different to what OBS seems to capture. So, you know, I mean, that is like weird grain texture. <laughs> and I assume that on OBS it's going to look even jankier with the YouTube video. I have tried to change some settings and um, we can't pick that up also we can just go through the screen. No, do not clip out, hang on. <laughs> um, we're probably not meant to be up here but um, Unity. Team Unity! Oh, barbed wire. Well, I mean barbed wire is nothing when we're up this high. Um, Ooh, there's something over there. Maybe I should progress naturally <laughs> and not jump up through the physics also. Um, there's no textures on that? Or is it? I know it is meant to be like that. It's meant to be girdering but I can sort of see the lack of textures on the box which is not ideal. Right, um, Come and HQ, I seem to be tracked in the machine room. It seems to be completely deserted. The machine seems to be inactive but operational. Um, there is also a small wearable device laying close to the machine's core. 12 Monkeys style, maybe? How should I proceed? I mean, if you haven't seen 12 Monkeys the series, all three of them, then you won't get that reference. But the film's good and the TV series is good, and now we're probably going to be transported into. This is totally 12 Monkeys, by the way. <laughs> We were now wearing the time device, I guess, and now we can blink through time. Damn! <clears throat> um, right, okay, I was gonna say, what was that that blinked up that we didn't get to see? 
Okay. Just left mouse button to activate slow motion. Right mouse button to deactivate slow motion. Well, I'm going to travel this way, but we can't because there's <laughs> invisible barriers. Do we really need to be going slow motion as we go through this? Um, also, I'm not rotating. The world is rotating around us. As we travel through. It's quite a cool transition, but we're gonna go faster. Who wants to go slow motion? We're gonna run. We outran the transition. Um, where am I? None of this seems real. Guess calling in for HQ is definitely pointless now. Need to find a way out of here. This place feels oddly familiar though, it's seen though I've been here before, or as though I've seen other time travel references. Um, really? You've been in a car floating crankshaft in <laughs> Inception world? This place seems familiar? Oh god, this is Inception, that world's upside down. Um, I wonder if we can... Mm, no, we, we aren't rotating the world with it. Shit, <laughs> don't fall. Thankfully we have, like, floaty... I hate floaty platformers, but we float in this, oh my god. <laughs> this seems... terrifying. Also, is this, like, Knight Rider, the Michael Knight remix? <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. Um... Let's hope there's an eight world. Thank God we don't fall forever. Because <laughs> that would have been awkward. I would have hated that. Um, how far does that collision go, you know, if we jump off from the wrong place? Does it recognize it? <laughs> right. Our car is moving. You will wait. Also, is that... A Rover 214. <laughs> My first car! Right, I'm not jumping and um, the float is helping me very much, but it's like a pseudo Indianized <laughs> Michael Knight remix of Knight Rider theme tune. Fuck me, this is. Oh my god, I apologise if anyone. No shit, it's not. It Fucked me off, I really shouldn't have stood about on that. Now we've got to go through it all again. That! Oh my god, why? That can't be what we've got to do. Oh shit, we can slow down time, I'm an idiot. I was going to say... <laughs> that is impossible, but with slow time it's not going to be. We can do this with slow time. What is the verse? It's, it's, it's a puzzle mechanic, it's not horrible. <laughs> it's cool, you know, because of puzzle mechanics, we can do this. And also that rotating platforms, you know, that's going to be something else that we're going to want to slow time for. We obviously aren't going to do it now because it's helping us with these in this transition, but once we're there, we're going to slow down that crankshaft and make it across. Right, we can go up nicely, hopefully it's unlimited. We maybe can sprint with that, but oh no, the time's getting faster. I'm going to leave it to see just how long it lasts, because it sounds like it's going to run out and expire any second now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, there's a crankshaft as well, fuck me. Right, well, I mean, clearly we want the crankshaft. And I will hold down sprint just in case. And do not fly away on me. Also, you know, I can imagine if we released it right now, it would fling us a mile in the air. This is probably also going to fly and rotate, so I'm going to jump onto the cars. It doesn't, but, you know, legitimate concerns. Right, these don't really go anywhere, so I do have to jump, and I wonder how the checkpoint is in this, because at this point, you know, 
that worry is about falling are amplified and also you know that was concerning because it sort of lagged a bit that car felt like it was falling <laughs> right there is another crankshaft shit i pressed the wrong button it's a good job i didn't go then no we're too low Right, thankfully it's a little forgiving on the fact that I went pretty early. Also, I don't know which ones of these are rotating and which ones are not. Right, okay. <laughs> I did stop it on us as well in case we were on the rotating one already. Okay, this doesn't rotate, but oh my god, what is that flipping out? <laughs> Flippity flooping about. Checkpoints? I hope these are checkpoints. I mean... It's concerning. <laughs> it is concerning. Right, let's go. Do not slip. Do not slip. We're live on channel 4. Do not slip. Oh my god, this one doesn't even stop at this point. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. Fucking hill. Also, you know, as I didn't even get around to saying, the name sounds um, pretty Nordic, but it is also translated into English on the Steam page. So, you know, just in case you're wondering, you know. Whew. Okay, right. I'm going to take a sip of my cup of tea before we think about this, because, you know, right at the end of the level, I would assume, and... <laughs> The clock, okay. This this is why you don't activate weird machines. Also, oh my god, this timing is gonna be so precise. Cause we've gotta not only oh shit, we might not make it. I don't think we made it guys. Fuck. Get back, 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 get back. Fuki. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> Where do we checkpoint? Oh yes, thankfully. Right, okay. I mean, we were never going to make it onto that second one. I was trying to time it with the thing, but... We're too slow. Yeah, that is too slow. Okay. Here we go. Go with it coming up to it. Let's go, race the sun. We can get there! Three, two, one. It might be too high. Oh no, we made it. Fuck me. Time's gonna go though. What the fuck? When we can't make this. How the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. Three, two, one. Fuck. I had the timing right as well, but we jumped at the world, right? Don't sprint at it before. Nope, that's too late. I mean, this may be very off. It may indeed be very off. Also, you know what I mean? What happens if we go like this? Oh shit, we just phase through the world. Fuck me, I thought it would fling me. <laughs> I really thought that would fling me there. Shit, we're stuck in it. Yes, this is a good time. Right, okay. We can potentially make this now. Shit. Right, I mean, I wanted to transition there on that middle one, but also, you know, I mean... I guess if we're going to transition on the middle one, then it doesn't really matter if we fuck this up entirely, because we're going to be re-releasing it for a second here. 
Shit, but I did it too late. I really shouldn't have gone for the second closer one. I think that's what we're going to do there. Okay, so, you know, essentially the timing on this doesn't really matter as long as we transition okay on the second one. Oh, fuck me! That would have been perfect, but I was a little short on my jump. Right, let's go. Let's not fail our jump entirely this time. Oh, shit! Oh, I could have saved it then. I totally could have saved that then. The time... And the music does stop when we're in that. Oh, that is going fast. Why is that still going so fast? Why was that still going so fast? Right, I'm getting a bit of hand cramp here. Right, let's go. Yeah, that is all still moving so fast. Our, I think our time has gone a bit haywire and we're not... No, 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 no! <laughs> Getting as much effect out of it as we were. Shit. Well, fail. <laughs> Enjoy the sky. Shit. Jumping for that whilst it wiggles and jiggles and then trying to stop it. You know, I mean, I probably should stop it first and then jump for it. And also, that's why. Oh my god, we're never going to get a transition now. <coughs> what? We... <laughs> we got a surface for a second. So I guess it does matter the timing a bit. Oh, we are so random with this. That's also why we're missing all of our jumps. Because of the... Rotational jiggle, of course. It's not a constant. It's not in a constant location. It's always in a different location. And this is why time travel is awkward, because, you know, if you... Shit, we landed that! Come on! If you try and travel through time whilst, you know, you have to know all of these space-time vectors of where things are, where they were, where they're going to be, and if you're in one position as you're travelling through time, and, you know, you're probably rematerialised. I landed that inside an object, or, you know, not where you want it to be, just because you're on Earth now when you begin your time travel. Um, Earth isn't it in the same space-time position where your destination is so you know you may appear but it's never gonna work as a jump in somewhere entirely different yes smart thinking oh fuck me no you I had to do it because it was never gonna be in the right position Oh my god, this is tough. Right, we kind of want it low, like that. So, our secondary jump is going to be better. Yes, that will... No! Fuck me, the lag! The lag killed me. It lagged out. We had it, but for that lag. <laughs> the game was... Nope, we can't give it to you. It lagged out. Oh my god. This isn't going to work. We're not going to make it. We may make it. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Shit. Shit. The time was running out, I had to do it. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Don't that we blame that lag. We had that one and then it just went <laughs> and farted. 
yeah, again, we went through that when we shouldn't have. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No. <laughs> eh. <laughs> this is hard. It is a fairly cute game though. It's £7, so you know, it's not bad. And it's, I don't know how long the game is. Right, let's go. Lands and lands, and that should give us enough time to hopefully make the second one. Oh my god, it's going too fast. What the fuck? Why, why are you going so fast? You've never gone that fast. <laughs> why did you not slow down? Why did you not slow down? I guess it's on the double rotation, so we want to go on the fast one the first time. So that we'll catch the slow one the second time. Look at it go. Needlessly fast. Ah! Ah! <laughs> right, I'm determined to get there. We will beat this game. I didn't pay attention to the rotation. It's on a slow one, isn't it? No, it's on a fast one. Good. Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> I went through. I should have jumped. I should have jumped. Right, we're on a fast one, kids. We want to land it. And then when we land it. Just land it, yes! You're on a fast one, aren't you? No, we may be able to make this. This will be okay. We are okay. Just rush it. Fuck! Fuck you. We made it. Don't fall. Right, um. <laughs> I just need to find a way up. Around the physics and, um. We may have this also, you know, invisible walls. It's not liking that, right? My hand hurts. Hopefully we triggered the checkpoint. We we made it. Uh, it just glitched me through because I paused it, but I jumped high enough, yes. Okay. Do we need to touch the clock? <laughs> Touch the clock, or it won't recognise it. We need to climb this. I may have to jump for that. I may have to jump for it. Right. Damn it. Hang on, no. Nope. There's something there. The surface that we can get onto. Also, you know, bear in mind that surfaces act differently under this circumstance as well. And my hand hurts though. <laughs> That's reflective surfaces. I'm gonna jump off the end. If we could just gonna jump, I might as well try and jump for one of these so that I can try and get up. The indecisiveness, because I don't want to do that again. We made it. No, um, damn it. <laughs> what? Right, quit. Progress. Yes! He's done it. He has done it. We can totally get up there. Right. 
give me sunshine, <laughs> give me rain. <laughs> Right. We're up. We are up. We did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've definitely been here before. This is the only infiltrated on my first Cheney mission on Earth. But everything seems all mixed up. All the laws of gravity are completely irrational. Whatever. Wherever this is. Seems to be some kind of dimensional dimension between the conventional perceptions of time and space. I need to get out of here. It could get really dangerous. This could get really dangerous. <laughs> that puzzle though. Okay. There's some sort of void over there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This could get very dangerous. Don't fall off. Don't glitch through the physics. Right. Um. Hmm. We definitely can't jump out. Oh my god, this. So we need to jump over there. There's a big lice. Um. Hmm. Right. Let's go explore a bit. Do we need to run over these things? So okay, that's not so bad. Some sort of power over there, maybe. Maybe a double jump, maybe something useful. Who knows? Maybe a memory. Maybe an inexplicable fire. Oh, it's activated that, right, okay. I see. Let's go. So we've got a platform over there now. You know, we didn't just go and try and jump and <laughs> fail utterly. That would have been embarrassing. I don't know if we needed to left trigger there to activate that, but you know, it only highlighted the flame after that, so... Whew. That level was tough though, I mean, you know, and this was level 2. <laughs> How tough are the puzzles going to get in this? And I will say as well, I might have had an easier time had I had my controller in. Just saying, you know, I do find it easier with the controller on platforming challenges. You totally weren't going to make it to me. So, no. On the approach. There we go. <laughs> I've used the space time to my advantage. For definite. But thankfully, there were checkpoints. I mean, if we had to do that all over again every time with that last area, it would have been hard. Well, not just hard, it would have been impossible. Right, there's a red thing up there. Yeah, nothing over there, although there does seem to be a path, but I'm guessing we want to go in the portal. It's nearer, and it's a scenario. Also, these are buildings. <laughs> I guess. It looked like a cityscape from there, but now it just looks like rubble. Through the portal. alley -oop. Shit. You trolled me. You trolled me. We're slipping. We're slipping off. You trolled me. The portal didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Unless I jumped too high. But it feels more like I got tricked. Tricker. <laughs> we got tricked hard. They are floating in nothing. That leads to nothing. We definitely can't jump high enough to get to them. Maybe we need to be slow motion to go through the portal. I mean, that definitely leads nowhere. So, 
you know. It definitely looks more like a cityscape from back here than it does anything else. Right. Let's just walk into it. I don't know, it kind of doesn't look like anything in slow motion, does it? Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> it's not a portal. Not a potato. Wait, did they get closer and further away? In which case, you know, they're moving so fast, but if they move further away... You know, they might be slowly, slowly, slowly moving further and closer, but... Because there's two of them. It's a weird optical illusion, you know, you can't really tell. Let's just go over here and see what we have going on. Because that red... Thing definitely is doing nothing for us. And this is just a bit of oblivion. And it definitely feels like we should have activated something to get over here, like that portal. Which doesn't activate. <sighs> well, we'll jump off. Because, you know, we've got nothing else. <laughs> We'll give the portal one more go and then I'm going to have to email the developers and be like, you know, this puzzle might be broken because, you know, what do I do here? Because, you know, I've been to everything. The red flame portal doesn't do anything. If we've got to press some sort of button that we don't have natively in forms, right? Also, you know. Jump, activate slow motion, deactivate slow motion. There's nothing else, there's level flex, which is the levels that we've done. There's nothing else to this, right? Unless we touch this block for some arbitrary unknown reason. Rub ourselves against it. <laughs> Jumping into it didn't work, going slow motion into it didn't work. Pressing E does nothing. Whew. Right, we're just gonna walk into it. Three, two, one, along Z. Doesn't activate anything. Doesn't do anything. We've done slow motion right next to it. I think something went wrong here in this puzzle. And, you know, I'm going to have to call it an episode there because time waits for no man and um, the puzzle seems unsolvable. Thanks for watching. Join us again some more. Goodbye.